We're out here near a range today, so if you hear some gunfire in the background, just Paul Harrell that shit. Uh, and if you don't know who Paul Harrell is, you should probably go ahead and look him up on YouTube. He's pretty awesome. Uh, anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is the a problem that I'm seeing in the general tactical industry and tactical community right now. And that is that, and I'm not the only one seeing it, I'm not the first person to say this, but there is a problem with... We're in the age of the tactical McDojo. And if you don't know what a McDojo is, basically it's just a martial arts academy that professes to teach good self-defense and really doesn't. Uh, if you follow Joe Rogan, he's constantly making fun of fake martial artists and stuff like that. And I'm not necessarily saying that we have anybody like that out there, although uh, I will call one person out. Voda does exist, so that is a person that, that is real in this world. Uh, but anyways, we don't have nearly that many people that are as bad as the truly fake martial artists, the guys who can, you know, energy knock people to the ground and, and yell and, and people will, will just fall knocked out and, and stupid crap like that. But we have a lot of people who are uh, stuck and unwilling to take advice and that's a huge problem. And so what I really want to get at is how to select who to listen to whenever you're trying to get good tactical advice. Um, right off the bat, generally speaking, now I will give you an example a little bit of how that's wrong, but generally speaking, uh, somebody was in special operations unit post 9-11, uh, then they are a good person to listen to. Uh, pre 9-11 guys are not bad guys to listen to whatsoever. Uh, if they just didn't evolve in the rapid evolving world of the global war on terror, then they're going to be a few steps behind the curve. But that doesn't mean that their stuff doesn't work. It worked for them in their era. Uh, we just have developed a little bit better stuff now. Um, and what I'm getting at is, is certain companies, uh, I'm not going to name names. I've been getting into a little bit of fights with them on the internet lately, but whatever. Uh, they, they'll get stuck in a way of doing things, just completely 100% stuck in a way. And, and this is where some special ops guys are not immune to either. I, had, I worked uh, as an armed security officer for uh, uh, the federal government for a while, and one of the guys that I worked with uh, had, went and did a lot of training at this group somewhere around here in Colorado that's run by a former SEAL. And he was just stuck in the concept that the higher ready is the only way to walk around with your gun, like the only way. Just like saying that the slingshot method whenever you're reloading a pistol is the only way to reload a pistol. Why would we not learn multiple methods? And why would we not also, you know, whether or not it offers certain advantages, such as like on certain versions of the Makarov, you have to slingshot it. There is no slide stop to release. Um, so yes, there's, there's certain advantages to the sling, slingshot method in that it works with every single semi-automatic pistol. Um, however, while there are those advantages, if I'm running a Glock and I can do it reliably, get to the slide stop and release the slide that way, and that saves me two tenths of a second, then that's one more round that the enemy doesn't get off at me. And that's, that's the whole point, right, is to get them dead as quickly as possible because they're going to fucking kill you if you don't, right? So we're in this weird place where there's a lot, of comp a lot of companies, a lot of individuals out there who are preaching just, this is the only way, this is the only way. Um, so when you're looking for somebody, look for somebody who has a very nuanced answer to a question. Um, look for somebody that says, like, I'm not a fan of a certain technique, but then we're also more than willing to demonstrate that te technique. And you can see they are proficient with that technique. So they have learned that technique well enough to understand the nuances behind why they don't like it. Um, same thing's true with gun advice. If you haven't seen somebody really be able to shoot a pistol well at, at distance, then they don't know the nuances of handguns well enough to be offering you advice. Um, so anyways, I just want you to, to be smart about who you're listening to. Uh, don't become tactical ideologues. We don't need what's happening currently in our country in the political world to happen in the tactical world, even though the tactical world likes to eat itself apart for some reason, um, or tear itself apart. Uh, either way, so just uh, quickly some names that, that I think are really good names to listen to. Uh, Travis Haley, um, John McPhee, the Sheriff of Baghdad. Uh, Pat McNamara is an excellent resource. Um, there's a few other guys out there that I'm blanking on. I know I follow one of them on Instagram. 
Um, but there, there's some really great guys out there to follow right now. So just be very selective and vet the hell out of whoever you choose to listen to if you're going to take advice on how to save your own life when other human beings, other armed humans, try to take it from you. All right, that's all I got. Have a good day.